In December of last year, the World Health Organization put out a statement that read, through cost-effective, evidence-based interventions, we can eliminate cervical cancer as a public health problem and make it a disease of the past. With that introduction, you might be thinking that I'm here today to pitch a cost-effective, evidence-based intervention that is going to completely eliminate cervical cancer. I'm not, but the good news is that I'm not because I don't have to. These interventions already exist, with one having existed for nearly a full century. The first intervention that I want to highlight is the human papillomavirus vaccine, better known as the HPV vaccine. This vaccine helps to protect against several high-risk strains of HPV, which account for over 70% of cervical cancer cases. The second intervention is the pap test. For those of you who don't know, a pap test is where a doctor takes a fancy tool called a speculum and uses it to crank open a woman's vagina and get a nice good look at her cervix. The doctor will then take a swab of the cervix to test to see if there are any abnormal cells. In the event that there are abnormal cells, that patient would be referred to a gynecologist who can address them before they become anything to even be concerned about. So with these two incredible interventions made freely available here in Canada, why is it that 1,350 Canadian women will be diagnosed with cervical cancer this year and 410 will die from it? Like every good scientist, I decided to chase that why. And in doing so, I found that there are specific populations that are disproportionately affected by cervical cancer. In Canada, we see this among our immigrant population. A 2007 study found that immigrants and ethnic minorities in Canada are less likely to be screened for cervical cancer than their Canadian-born counterparts. Immigrants' access to health services is a complex issue concerning a wide range of barriers. And this is why I will be completing an in-depth qualitative analysis where I will interview immigrant women about their experiences and their perceptions of these two incredible interventions that completely eliminate their risk of ever developing cervical cancer. Bringing forward the human perspective on the PAP test and the HPV vaccine is a critical aspect of evolving our current policies and guidelines to increase the number of individuals who are getting vaccinated and regularly screened across our population. Because if we come closer to 100% vaccination and 100% adherence to cervical cancer screening across Canada, then we come closer to completely eliminating cervical cancer for Canadians. Thank you.